Yo, what up with the YouTube? It's the Real Boss TV 815, man. Welcome back to the channel. And it's been a it's been a real rush, man. I know y'all need to check out my last live I did uh explaining how Nancy Grace uh broke down the Shane Quayler Robinson case. But I got some bad news for y'all today, man. Uh, a lot of people probably gonna be pretty upset about it, but it is what it is. I'm not and I'm going to answer some of y'all questions. So a lot of people were pretty upset, wondering why they're not seeing a warrant and um, anything in that nature of Shanquella Robinson's friend uh, being arrested. And they have just addressed that. And uh, I'm going to let y'all see that. And I'm going to break it down to you and everything. But it is... Uh, I'm going to just let y'all see for yourself, man. But the exact circumstances of her death remain a mystery, with the leading suspect in the reported homicide still on the run. We just went on a Robinson, while on vacation with her classmates, was beaten, found dead in her hotel room, while the people she traveled to Mexico with headed back to the U.S. An autopsy showed Robinson died of a severe neck injury. Well, they told us it was alcohol poison. And um, we, you know, questioned each one of them because we had heard different. We had got a call saying that they was over there fighting her. The video showing the fight has made the rounds on social media, though the second woman in the video has not been officially identified. Mexican prosecutors have said the suspect is an American and the charges are femicide. Femicide is the murder or killing of a woman or a girl on the basis of their gender identity. One way that we could think about this is like a hate crime. Mexican prosecutors said in a statement, Robinson's death was the result direct. Hey, y'all watch this to the end because I'm explaining to you why they're saying that uh, it's being delayed on the extradition. Attack, not an accident. Most women overall who are killed are actually killed by a person that they know, either an intimate partner, current or former, or a family member. And so gender becomes a really important concept when we think about the reasons why that women and girls are being killed. Mexican law enforcement has requested the suspect be extradited back across the border so she can face charges. That would require U.S. authorities to hand over an American citizen to a foreign government. She is going it has to be extradited to Mexico. I do see that happening. Deborah Blum is a criminal defense attorney in New York. Blum says while she expects the extradition to happen, it could be a process to get it done. They're going to have to have their day in court where the person that's accused of this gets to say, I don't agree to extradition. And then they get to have a judicial hearing in front of the judge. The FBI has also opened an investigation into Robinson's death. Jamal Andrus, Newsy. Now, now let me explain yeah. to y'all. Now let me explain to y'all real quick. Now let me explain to y'all real quick what's going on here. So they're saying that um, it's because of political issues, it's going to delay the extradition of uh, Dejeuner. So they're saying they're, that she hasn't been arrested yet. And basically they're saying since the warrant has been issued, there has not been a red notice sent out yet. So that's what they're waiting on, the red notice.
as that makes sense to you. And they're blaming it on uh, political reasons and stuff like that, political issues. Now, I know a lot of people wanted to believe or think maybe she could be arrested. They're just not saying nothing. But they just came out and said it today. And at the top of the screen, you said you seen where it said on the news, suspect has not been arrested. And they're saying this is why they're saying that uh, it was issued, but no red notice uh, from Interpol has still not been issued for the suspect. No red notice. And the red notice is basically whenever they put it out there where anybody can see it and like wherever they go, they're, they're going to get snatched up. You know what I'm saying? And that's whenever they can release her name and all that. That's when they're, that's just like old boy said, uh, the lawyer dude, uh, the other investigator that from, uh, from uh, Mexico, uh, I, I, I forget his name right now, but he said like once the red uh, notice comes out, then they'll release Dejanae's name. And that's what her mom said. Uh, you know, she ain't, uh, she hasn't heard anything and they haven't told her uh, who the person was. Now, uh, you know, and that's basically what they're saying. They say they have a, uh, the two countries have a 1978 extradition treaty in place. But the the U.S. Department is investigating the request, and you know will eventually be forwarded to the State Department of final approval, according to the paper. So I guess they just dragging their feet, uh, from what it sounds like. But we all thought maybe some there was arrest already, and then what happens next is more of this political issue they're talking about, you know, than a legal one, you know, and they're saying. Uh, more often than not, the U.S. will comply with the extradition request from a country which it has a treaty. But, you know, authorities in the U.S. Uh, deemed that to be appropriate. So they, they have no reason not to comply with the extradition, you know, but they will engage in the legal process, you know, and, and, and make this happen. So... They're saying that before they arrest anyone, the FBI will investigate the, to, to determine the sufficient cause for the suspect to be extradited. And determining the cause doesn't mean the Bureau will investigate and double check Mexico's criminal probe. But again, the whole purpose of the treaty is so one country that really questioned the other, not to question the other one. And that means the understanding of each other's legal process is such that you know, when they make a decision, the decision must be abided by. And the FBI has confirmed that they are uh, investigating and it's still ongoing. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and that's that's basically what it is, man. Uh, also, uh, just to let you know, her friends are being questioned, though. That's been confirmed uh, by the family. Her friends have, some of her friends have been questioned, but as of right now, Dejanae is still on the run and they have not issued the red notice yet. So everybody just keep pushing for uh for justice, you know, for Shanquela, man. It's a real boss TVA 15, man. I'm out of here.